Okay, we're going to tie my shad fly. This fly was actually featured uh, some years ago on a fly fish TV uh, program that demonstrated its use for catching the big trout here on the White River system when they come up and take the threadfin shad that get pushed through the dam into the river below. However, it is essentially a bait fish pattern. And I know for certain at this point of time that this fly is accounted for at least 26 different species of fish. Well, I'm going to tie my uh, transparent caddis emerger. It's a fly actually I developed a good few years ago. Um, anywhere where caddis emerge, I can assure you that this fly will catch you an awful lot of fish. Woolly buggers, as most trout fishermen know, are you know fairly consistent fish catchers, and uh, I won't argue with that one. However. Uh, there are times that, you know, the, just the regular standard woolly bugger with a chenille body and the, and the palmer tackle and that, you know, just, just don't quite get it, you know. I'm going to introduce you first to a pattern of mine called the Sculper. In the region of about three, three and a half inches in length, maybe something like that. As I said, you know, you can make these guys an awful lot smaller than that. Not too much of a worry if you lose them. You didn't take too long to tie. I'm going to tie my black and silver spider. It's uh, a fly that I've used for probably at least 30 years of my fly fishing life, and it's caught me fish pretty much every place I've ever used it. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're producing a fly that's got a lot of options of uses. 